So this is a small um, 120th horsepower uh, water chiller. Um, it's designed for aquariums. Um, I've picked up one of these before at a, a, a similar recycle shop and um, I actually use it for my laser cutter. Um, this one here, I got it for 20 bucks and well I've had it for a little while now but I just haven't done any videos on it. Um, so yeah, 1 120th horsepower, it's a pretty tiny little thing but as you can see I've got it uh, pulled apart here. Um, when I first got it, it seemed to work fine. Um, I noticed it did take quite a while to actually cool down but I didn't really think anything of it. Um, it used to be a, uh, I don't know if it says on the front there, yeah. used to be a uh, 134A system. But um, when I hooked it up to a bucket of water and tried cooling it, it just took forever. And um, I calculated the cooling power and it came out at about 50 watts, um, which with a uh, 120th horsepower compressor, it should be more around the 200 mark. So. Um, I figured it was probably low on refrigerant, so I, uh, well I released the refrigerant and it seemed like there was actually a fair bit in there, I mean it was going for quite a while, um, because what I wanted to do was put a, a, a service port on it, um, so I figured once I'd done that I'd just refill it with propane, because um, that's compatible with, uh, with the oil and everything else already in the system. So um, yeah, I put, put a, a service port on here just with a T fitting, uh, filled it up with propane and well, it didn't get any better. Uh, first thing I noticed was the discharge line was getting crazy hot, but um, I was getting basically very little cooling. Um, so well, I had, I had the gauges connected as well and I noticed it, you know, it was hardly be getting above vacuum. So pretty quickly figured out that there was a blockage somewhere um, probably in the capillary so what I've had to do is this is all actually new um, it's the old capillary here so I bought a, um, a new filter dryer off eBay which is actually a fair bit longer than the old one the old one was probably about that so it's actually almost double the length um, which doesn't really matter but yeah, so that, that's a new filter dryer, um, new capillary tube as well. So I just cut the old one off right here, brazed this one on, uh, brazed in a new capillary. Uh, these are actually flare fittings because this is um, aluminium tube for corrosion. As you can see, I think this has had a leak and it's probably been used on a saltwater tank. So yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit nasty. So um, yeah, I've put, put the new capillary in, just um, crimped a bit of tube and brazed it on in there. And um, well yeah, I've just pumped it down. I need to go and get some more propane tomorrow if I've run out for now, but um, I've just pumped it down. So I'm waiting to see if we have any leaks. I'm just using a, um, I don't know what this is, half horsepower, one horsepower, something like that. Just a, um, a reciprocating compressor. Works pretty well as a vacuum pump. It doesn't really go that low, but uh, leave it running for long enough and it's pretty sufficient as you can see. Hasn't changed since I turned it off and well, it's almost at the bottom of the scale. So yeah, that, that seems to work just fine. Um, so yeah, I've just got to get some new propane and well, fill it up tomorrow and see how it goes and I'll do another video on it then.